guys, welcome back to another video of Lana's Shadow. And today we are doing how to sprout spinach. But I'm also going to be adding cucumber and um, onion. So guys, um, that's how you do it. So first step is going to be plastic bag, paper towel, and seeds. So what I'm going to be doing is sprouting these and uh, having the seeds in here when they have like little roots or even have um, leaves on it. I'm going to be planting it into a bottle. I'm just going to cut it, put soil in it, and just put it right there. And when it sprouts and uh, when it has leaves in it, and that it has to have at least have three or four leaves when you can put it into a bigger pot like around this big. When they have or getting really big, they need more room. So you want to have bigger pots, so get pots ready. Or I have around a lot of pots around my house. And I ha also have, well, I grow a lot of things. I am growing tomato, okra, uh, onion, spinach, um, cucumber, uh, pepper, and uh, uh, corn. So yeah, guys, I like to grow stuff. And this is how I'm going to show you how to grow stuff. So first... You're gonna have to get uh, this, have a uh, spray with you. You open the spinach up. Oh, Jesus, I put too much. But you have to put them in order. Well, I like to do that. It has to be in order. Oh my god. Oh, in this out of order. Come on, man. Alright. Come on. You can't put it out. You can't have it too close together or um, the roots will connect and probably make something very different which is called crossbreeding that's why I do not have one only sheet of paper well I mean uh, what's it called paper towel I only have only one seed in each because if they do come together it's going to be crossbreed you're gonna have to like look in a later video how to crossbreed, and um, it's actually pretty easy. There's another way that's actually easier, but much harder to work with, which is more efficient than you know just having it. There we go. We got it. Now. Alright, you get this and spray down. Just get a moist, you know. Around five sprays. I did more than five sprays because I'm in a tight wrap. So get your plastic bag, open it up, put it in here. Spray at least three. One, two, three. Alright, here we go guys, we got it. Um, I would recommend you label it so you can know what it is. And I set it under Glycon's light, which is my bearded dragon, so um, not lose water, keeps circulating, so this is kind of like greenhouse. Let's do 
with the other ones. You guys, see you in a couple of weeks uh, when they sprout, and uh, see you later. This is a, I think a week later, I think. But um, I'm gonna in the last video. I mean, the last uh, thing you probably have saw the real time, but I really don't know. So it looks like these did not sprout yet. But we're gonna check um, on the ones that look like. They um, okay, I just forgot. Um, yeah, let's get it sorted out. I opened one. As you can see, I think, uh, we found one. Yes, let's go. Oh, you gotta focus it. Yeah, you see the roots? I think I found it. I think, I, I mean, I think I got it. Alright, this is, a uh, spinach, I believe. This is why you always label. Jesus, this is so hard to open. Yeah, these are 100% spinach. Alright. Oh, sh she's nuts. Um, be very careful while you're taking them out. Hey, we got one. See, the, as you can see, how to tell the difference. As you can see, you can see, see that? Compare to that. You can see it. Or, if you're not sure, Get the other other thing and compare it to that, which is looks nothing like that. That's um so we got one which is spinach. So um let's make a pot for it. Alright guys, for the people that want to save money, here we go. We got um from dirt from Outside or potting soil. This is actually potting soil, not dirt from outside. <laughs> so, um, this is actually pretty good dirt. You want to get like a pencil or a pen, like put a what the heck, put up at the bottom, and then put, put, poke a little hole at the bottom, like this, like a little hole, like that. As you can see, it's a hole, but. Gotta be make sure, oh lord, I think I just put it on top of it. I didn't mean to do that, but, oh wow. This one's sprouting really good. This one's sprouting, I don't know if I should put that. Um, I should put it right there. But, um, yeah. But you gotta make sure you put it inside, um, until, like, it starts sprouting. I mean, keep it inside until, like, you think it's time to put it outside you can't just make sure the temperature is the same as that side because it has to be in the environment like legit it has to be the same temperature outside as it was because it takes a little while to get used to but if you guys do want a little tip if you keep inside while you have a uh, thing like glycons um put like when you have like leaves put it outside and then put it back in here at night so it won't so s s get cold or anything like that so yeah um i'm gonna start fast forwarding Ugh. uh guys after all of these i actually put two in them if you guys get bothered like for only having two in them it actually comes handy in uh later in life because once they get this tall this tall this tall this tall i'm just kidding but um they eventually get like taller and taller every year i mean every day so what's be useful is that you had to space them out so if you have so many in there you're gonna have to like because if it's so close together like at least it's close the roots are going to be connected and you're going to always connect them for life and you won't get as much as you need so let's look at the other ones and make another one of these mm -hmm. guys there it's already growing oh my god there's so many growing in there this is a cucumber 100 percent yes Oh my god, yes. Ouch. But are you serious? Oh my god. Yes.
this is the oh my god i shouldn't have taken out much like longer ago um yes i'm gonna have a lot of cucumber this time <sighs> Go with old technique. Oh no, this is stuck together. Oh, let me get another scissors. So I got the dirt. Um, if anybody wants good condition cucumber um things, uh, that's also gonna be in the giveaway link in the descriptions if you want to pick it. But um, look how much cucumber. I have. Oh my god. Yeah, I only have one pot for it because this is so freaking big. I mean. The roots were at least that long, so the plant was about that big, so it's at least that long. So let's go look at the onion. Okay, so far I don't see any sprouting. Well, I was wrong. See there, that little thing right there. More pots. Well, after like looking through it, I you actually it's at least. Like, the roots are at least that long. You need to put it back in. Um, I think it's pretty good, but I need to at least give a few more, a few more minutes. But, um, if you're a girl like me, you, you know to do the same thing. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to show you all of them. I think I'm a plain guy because I actually have uh, corn, outside bean, uh, cucumber, um, onion, spinach, um, I also have okra growing, so yeah, this is my cucumber, this is my, um, spinach, so, um, guys, if you guys, you want, um, cucumber, the link is in the description, or, or I could do, um, uh, like, giveaway on this, or something like that, um, yeah, have a good day.